Hi, my name is Meredith Campbell. I'm a student at the International Space University, and for my individual project, I created digital elevation models of Martian sand dunes using high-rise data. If you're watching this video, it probably means you're trying to do the same thing, and hopefully you're actually continuing my work. If you're not from ISU, I apologize, there's going to be quite a few ISU-specific things in this video, but if you are from ISU, um, enjoy. Okay, so you want to create a digital elevation model of sand dunes. Where do you start? First you have to figure out what sand dunes you want to do, what image you want to do, so I'm gonna assume uh, that you've already picked out your your dunes. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to um, the high-rise website, so the, the University of Arizona Lunar and Planetary Laboratory hosts all of the high-rise imagery and they have this great website where they host all the stereo pairs. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on stereo pairs and you're going to either use the search or uh, whatever to find your stereo pair. So basically what this is is a stereo pair is a section of the Martian surface that has been imaged twice with different roll angles so that you can extrapolate height data from that. Uh, so you'll see that each one of these comes with two images. Each stereo pair has two images. So what you're going to do is you're going to find your stereo pair and you're going to select the first image and you're going to come down to this here called EDR products. That's what we need. So you're going to click on that and what you're going to do so you're going to download all of these files. These are the products that we're going to have all of our information in them, these image files. So you're going to do that for both images in the stereo pair. So you're going to go back to the main uh, page where you found your stereo pair, go through and get the EDR products for the other image as well. So for an example, I already have all the files downloaded for stereo pair. So you'll see you sh it'll have all these red files are what's really important. Red, 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 red. Sorry. <laughs> so there should be um, 16 red images for each image in the pair. So you can see I've got all of them in this one folder here. So the next step is to load these images onto the server. You could have already downloaded them directly onto the server. If you're fluent in Linux, I'll let you figure that out. If you're not fluent in Linux, this is really the easiest way to do it. So if you're an ISU student, we have a server at the school that we're using for our DEM production. This is because it has a larger hard drive and um, more memory, so it just makes the the process easier but you're gonna need some sort of software to access the server all the computers at school already have putty installed basically putty just lets you open up a command line and control the server that way but I prefer um, this software here called MOBA Xterm right MOBA Xterm is that what it's called? I'm pretty sure. Oh no! So yeah, MOBA X term. So you're just going to sign on to the server. The first time you sign on, you're going to have to go to the IT guys. They'll give you a login. Um, but this is this is the server. Is server. It's Canada1.isunet.edu. Log in. Okay. So first thing we're going to want to do is transfer those image files onto the server. One thing that's really important is when you first open up the server, it'll probably plop you down in this folder, home slash whatever your name is. Um, you're not going to want to work in there. So we're going to go to the home directory and we're going to go to the data folder. So the data folder is really important. This is where you want to do all of your work because it has the, this is where all the hard drive, or that's an extra hard drive that's been installed, so it's got all the, the space. So inside data, you might want to create your own folder or you could keep working in mine. I don't really care. Um, open up your folder. I like to create a, a folder for each DEM. Whoops. So what I'm going to do is 
So I'm just going to copy my example folder over. This is another reason I really love Mobax term because when you're working on PuTTY, this file transfer is really difficult. But in Mobax term, they make it super easy. You can just drag and drop things from your computer onto the server or from the server onto your computer. So that's how I recommend doing it. So now we're just going to wait for those files uh, to load. <laughs> 